Hey everybody, how's everybody doing out there in YouTube Landia? Um, this is Susan Lynn, Psychic Medium. I'm also a channel and I'm going to bring through some beings. I'm going to channel some beings for you today. Um, I've been getting this message like a uh, ping, ping, ping that I need to do this, that I need to get a message to whoever wants to see it. Um, be it known that if you're watching this video, the message is for you. You have somehow been directed to be here. So hi, here we are. So I'm going to um, I'm going to slowly uh, change my energy level to allow them to come in. Just for a second, what happens is that I need to take my ego and move it to the side. It's very similar to what I do when I do readings, especially mediumship readings. For me to get those messages to come through from your loved ones, I have to take my energy and push it to the side. So, but with channeling, it's even a deeper connection. Um, it's a completely deeper con connection. So now I'm going to just um, try to um, bring them in. They are calling themselves the elders that just came in. I don't didn't know who I was talking to. These are the elders. These are our ancestral energies that have ascended. So, you know, you might think of them as your grandparents, but they're um, supercharged. <laughs> they're supercharged grandparents. Very smart, very wise. Um, and they want to give us some help right now. So I'm going to bring them in and uh, bear with me and they'll come in and, um, you know, whatever they say is what they say. Okay, here we go. The elders are coming in now. I have to push myself to the side. Let them come in. Beautiful energy. These elders appear to be Native American to me. Here they come. Oh, the elders. The elders. Okay. The elders are Lakota Sioux. I'm going to try to raise my voice because um, otherwise you may not be able to hear me. These particular elders coming through are Lakota Sioux. What I feel is that there might be multiple groups that come through to talk to you um, because I think that some of you will resonate with one group and one message and some of you will resonate with a different group and a different message. So hopefully you will find a message here that resonates with you to the degree that it will comfort you, give you solace, and also give you hope. As the Lakota Sioux elders come in. They're passing the peace pipe. They pass the peace pipe along to everyone. They're opening up the great council for everyone to participate in right now. It's no longer acceptable for the greater council to only be made up of men or of only Lakota Sioux tribal members. So they want to open this up to everyone. Everyone needs to be at this ceremony. Everyone needs to have the peace pipe. They show me someone very different from themselves and they're showing me a red-headed person. Um, they're showing me someone who looks Hawaiian with Hawaiian dress, like a Hawaiian tribal dress, some sort of historic dress. They're showing me, um, then they also show me uh, different races, all different races sitting at the fire, cross-legged. All different races are here, brown, black, white, all different cultures are here at this tribal council. 
I see in here Hindu, Christian, Buddhist, Muslim, all other religions that they don't want to take the time to say because they only have a limited time here but they're saying that there's a representative here from all religions and all races and all cultures they want to say that some races span different cultures so it's important to acknowledge that there are different cultures and different races here This is the grandfather, the grandfather of all, and the grandmother of all are here. They're here because we need to smoke the peace pipe together. The only way forward is for all of us to go forward, for all of us to forgive, for all of us to accept each other's differences. And know that we may not be able to change those differences as long as no harm is done to anyone. The differences are just acceptable differences. They want to say that overwhelmingly there is no harm done but there are differences of opinion. There are more differences of opinion than there are violent differences of opinion. The violence cannot be accepted. It will not be accepted. You don't understand. Mother Earth will not accept this violence any longer. You may ask, what is violence? There may be someone here who is vegetarian who may say we have been violent against animals. And it is true that we do not honor that which we eat the way we should. And that is something that will change. However, at this time, they're talking about violence from and to humans. This violence must stop. Unfortunately, it will get worse before it gets better. They're showing violent scenes of riots and police and the intersection of those two things. They understand these things sometimes have to happen to get the results that we need to get. They understand this. They're very saddened by the excessive violence that is happening. They want you to know that there are actors, bad actors happening here. Bad actors are ginning up the violence, making it look like it is the protesters, but of course we all know that it isn't the protesters. We know this. They know we know this. But at this time we are still looking for scapegoats. So they show me everyone at the peace table and the protesters making peace with the authorities. This peace does not include the bad actors. The bad actors have been cut out of this deal for their intentions are not true. So, you will see, you will see that there will be peace between the protesters and the authorities. You will see this.
We wish to say that you are not capitulating, that the protesters are not capitulating in their demands. It is a good peace deal for both sides. It allows for peace and also growth, spiritual growth. It allows for healing. This is very important. We need healing. So the elders want to say to you that the violence will subside in six months. And we feel that both sides will feel that they are heard and respected. This is very important. However, this is but a symptom of the problem. The problem is greed. Self-absorption. Humans have lost their way. Especially as we look at the United States of America. We wish to point out that the name of the country is United States. And the word united is very important here. You have been divided. It's been a trick that has been played upon you. This division will ruin you. You have two paths. One path. is to accept that this is indeed a trick. Do not fall for it. Despite that everything may feel real and appear true to you, do not fall for this trick. Instead, take the high road, step out, put your hand out, offer peace. If it is indeed a trick, when you offer peace, you will soon find out if it is. This is a way that you can test this. Don't just assume that it is. If you can put your hand out and find common ground, you can move forward. Take a real look at the situation. The situation is dire. Your economy is faltering. Your people are very sick. Make no mistake, more people will be sick. More people will die. If you take the path that opens you, opens your heart to those that you think are on the other side of a deep divide, you can recover from this much quicker. You can recover much quicker. Less people will die. The economy will find a soft landing from which it can then grow perhaps in new ways, but for sure grow. The second path. The second path is to fight. To not believe that this is a trick. To accept that the trick is for real the truth. To be divided. The picture that I am seeing is as you are divided more and more and more, there's more bloodshed, more darkness, more anger, more despair. This will delay everything. To recover from this will take many years, many years.
And so we bring to you the peace pipe. We bring to you the peace pipe that you may sit around the table with those that you are uncertain about, those that you may not find that you have much in common with. But through the peace pipe we all find some commonality. And in that way we can move forward. The commonality is not 100%, it may not be 50%. But there is some commonality and that commonality is what you will hold on to like a life raft in the sea because that is what's going to put it all back together so we urge you to find commonality yes even with those that you feel you have nothing in common with you cannot rebuild this country very well or in the right amount of time if you cut out 30 percent of your population find a way to be open to forgiveness Also, move forward with speed. Move forward with certainty. When it comes to saving Mother Earth, Mother Earth is your mother. You live on her. She cannot sustain the attacks that have been taken upon her. Make no mistake, she's very powerful. She will show you her power. She will bring you to your knees. Doesn't have to be like this. Once again, it is all because of greed. Greed within the people that you have put in charge of your country. And this it's not necessarily one group of people versus another group of people. There are greed there are greedy people on both sides. This must be systematically removed for you to be able to go forward. We hope that you can see the table full of all of these people that are all different and they're all smoking the peace pipe together. We hope that you can see the peace. We hope that you can see the love. We hope that you can see that this is the way forward. Forgiveness is the way forward.